Hi guys, Ameya here and welcome to Want to Learn Programming. This is the 29th video in the series Basics of C Programming. In this video, we will look at what is call by value and what are call by reference. So first, let's start with the meaning of what is parameter. Parameters are divided into actual and formal parameter. The variable names can be different for de function definitions and in the function call. That is, if we have a function call in the main function saying sum is equal to addition a comma b. That is, we are getting the sum from the addition function and we are sending a and b as the parameters in the function call. Then our function of addition can be int addition num1 comma num2 wherein int add is equal to num1 plus num2 and return add. Here you can see that I am not using a and b. So it's not actually we can use a and b over here also but it's not compulsory to use a and b over here. But the variable a is corresponding to the variable num1 that is while receiving the values the value of a will be transferred to value of num1 and the value of b will be transferred to num2 or copied to num2. So here b say that a and b are actual parameters that is these are the parameters which are actually been passed from a parent function to a child function or from a calling function to a called function and num1 and num2 are formal parameters that is these are the parameters which are being used locally in the function in this case local variables are created during the function call and deleted after no longer required that is when this this command makes the function call to addition then num1 num2 and int add are the variables that are created locally and after this function call ends these variables are deleted that is they are removed from memory so now let's see what is called by value and what is called by reference call by value is here the passing of arguments to a function copies the actual value to the formal parameters in the function the change in formal arguments do not cause any change in the actual parameters unless it is returned using the return type. So we'll take the previous example sum is equal to addition of a comma b and int addition is equal to int addition of num1 and num2 int add num1 plus num2 we will just put a dummy command num2 is equal to 0 and return add. So this is called by value that is the value of a is copied into num1 the value of b is copied into num2 and here the uh, operation takes place if we change the value of num2 over here it will not affect the value of b unless this num2 is returned to the previous function so now that num2 is changed it does not cause any problem to the value b for example if a was 1 and b was 2 then it would add that is 1 plus 2 and return 3 but it would not change the value of b the value of b will remain as 2 a and b were copied to num1 and num2 but changing of num1 and num2 will not cause a change in a and b because they are copies now Let's see how call by reference works. Here the passing of arguments to a function does not copy the value of the arguments but it copies the address of the argument. The change in formal arguments do cause changes in the actual arguments because the changes are made not to the variable but to the address. Now let's see how this works by for call the calling function calls the function call sum is equal to addition of ampersand a comma ampersand b that is we are sending the address of a and b and not the value of a and b in int addition function what it does it it, it receives the 
pointer the num1 and num2 are pointers which receive the address of a and b respectively so the addition is made by referencing the address of a and b and the value that are present in address of a and b are added and the change is made to the address of b and not to b so this function definition will change the value of b because the change is made not to the copy but to the address of b so a and b were copied to num1 and num2 but changing num1 and num2 will cause change in a and b and b will be equal to 0 now according to this condition the only thing to remember is that the change is happening to the address of b and not to the copy of b so try these practice questions these practice questions are very simple and you can you can get the uh, answers for this in the link in the description below after some days so that it will give you some time to think about these questions so if you like this video click on like share and subscribe thanks for watching